guys. So today's a new day with a new beginning and a new opportunity to live life. And I'm gonna live life today, <laughs> every moment. And I'm gonna go on a journey. I'm gonna go see some penguins today at Boulder's Beach. Just starting my day at 7 a.m. I wanna show you guys my view right here. That's my view my neighborhood that I'm living in. <laughs> Ain't it beautiful? And this is my, my new bike. Her name is Layla. I love her so much. And she's awesome. And now I'm about to hit, hit up that beach, about 12K from here. Let's do it, guys. Only penguin in the African continent. Yeah, we've got 95% of them here in southern Africa. Really? Yeah. Ah. Another five percent in North Africa. They're quite similar. They're, I mean, they're related to the Ma Ma Magellanic penguin in, from the Galapagos, and they've, they've got a double stripe. Oh. Um, very pre prehistoric birds. You know? Yeah. Like Looks like it. Dinosaurs. Then How old are, do you think their species is, this, this specific one? 500 million years old. 500 million? Really? They're older than the, dino, than the sharks. Eh? Wow. They're actually, they're the most, one of the most primitive birds. They sort of, uh, yeah, they evolved from an early stage. And there was a penguin called the, the golden orc. Golden orc? The golden orc, A W K, and it stood about this big. And this was the, the, the it's that was the original penguin, and then other penguins developed from that oh. penguin. And that was about 500 million years ago. Wow! And uh, there are what, 17 different species. Really? Different species of penguins. Jesus. Five of uh, five of those species are endangered out of the 17. Mm. So one quarter of them are endangered, and one of them is the African penguin. Really? We have less than 40,000 left in the wild. 40,000? 40, 40,000. That's like one oil spill gone. Yeah. So, every penguin is important. Yeah. And totally. if we lose these penguins, we lose. Because the penguin also plays a role as a predator. It's an apex predator in the, kelp, in the, in the ocean here. Yeah. Like the white shark. It's yeah. just, it doesn't just happen to be here plays a role and it keeps everything in balance and so yeah. when you lose apex predators and key, keystone predators from your your different levels in the ocean it can cause a catastrophic collapse yeah and so yeah the numbers are dropping dramatically in the last 10 years 60% uh, of the penguins in Boulder have well from 7,000 down to 2,000 what do you think the cause is like fishing or um, overfishing 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 um, for the sardines because there's a the number of big canning companies in Hot Bay around the corner here. Yeah. Um, and they go out and they've, get, they've got government subsidies so they can to just catch and they've got warehouses full of ground up sardines, dried sardines, they, which they use for animal feed, for feeding cattle and feeding car, cows and goats and sheep and chickens. And yeah. You know, it's most of what the animal feed is. It's crazy. It doesn't make sense. So yeah. So when people talk about, well, one must change one's diet and, and actually 
live more lightly on the planet. It's true because like it's pointless that we're taking all their sardines out there. Yeah. Uh, to, to mince up for chicken and burgers and things when they're gonna they're gonna die because they don't have enough food. Yeah. And then the other thing is climate change. So the the, the water's getting warmer, so it's pushing the fish stocks, which were always out there at about over 100 kilometers offshore here, uh -huh. so sort of the deep water in the pelagic zone. So um, when they swim out now, they have to swim from this. False Bay is very shallow. It's only uh -huh. maybe up to 100 meters deep. It's not deep enough for, for sardines and the type of food that they eat. Wow. Yeah. So they don't fish here. They fish. They go right out of this bay. Too fast to see the mountains over there. Yeah. They come to they swim right out here every day. Yeah. And they swim 70 to 100 kilometers out to sea. Then they look for the fish. And that's based on temperature changes. So they yeah. got to get into the deep water. And there the water's up to 1,000 meters deep. Wow. And then they go diving and they swim around they look for fish. And then they find a bait ball. And then it's, it can be 100 meters deep. Yeah. Uh, just just thinking of that. And so so key key to all of that fishing, so they fish community, yeah. they need to go out together. Yeah. So when they come in the morning, when you watch them, they, they stand on the end rock over there and they gather and then you get a fishing fishing tree going out. And there's like say 35 to 50 penguins in a group and they swim out together and they get some information and they swim out two hours they're out in the fishing ground. Wow. Why they need to do that is they need to, they, they, they dive together, you know, so they find a fish and they blow bubbles and they, they do a, As a, team. a corkscrew effect up, yes, they, oh. the bait they, they bring the bait ball to the surface, they push it up against the surface and then they feed on it, like a sardine run on top of bait ball, that kind of thing. Interesting. And then they can feed very quickly, they can get that food in about 10 minutes, they can be full, they get like a, a couple of kilos, I think four kilos of fish on board and then they swim back together. Oh nice. And they arrive back here and they are really back there, like, what a lot. That's awesome. So, basically, a breakdown of like these penguins. Uh, their numbers have rocketed here since uh, they've built like this whole restraining right here. They built like fences, and it's allowed the penguins to like lay their eggs and breed and uh, promote more offspring, so they can live longer and farther, and and uh, you know, live as long as as they can because the the numbers are just skyrocketing like like he said like going down due to uh fishing overfishing and he even said about the livestock about the livestock being the number one cause so he gets it <laughs> he gets it i was like what surprise was like nice yeah good but these guys are really chill you know they're just like they're very they're just chill man i like it i want to like meditate